Can snakes get bored? This is a question that someone asked, a couple people emailed me about it, so it got me questioning it. Do, do, they, do they get bored? So then I questioned all of you on a poll on YouTube. Uh, about two and a half thousand people answered and 9% said, yes, they do get bored. They're probably bored most of the time. About 60 something percent said they get bored sometimes if their enclosure is boring. And then the rest said, no, they never get bored. But before we get further into the video to try and figure this out a bit more, I wanna show you this Franklin pin. It's now available on the Go Herping Shop, the newest piece of merchandise. Uh, I really like the colors. I love the design based on Franklin, the Raider slider. Uh, so it's a great addition to whatever you need a pin on. You can learn more with the link in the description or go to goherping.com slash shop to order free international shipping. So research on this question is kind of lacking. I guess nobody really cares. Hopefully there's a lot of you studying herpetology out there that can do more specified research like this and get to the bottom of it. Now there are very, 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 very varying answers to this question when I asked you. For example, Mid-Atlantic Wildlife said, no, they're probably bored none of the time. Boredom is only experienced by animals of higher intelligence levels uh, from lack of mental stimulation, enough with the personification. And then on the complete opposite side, uh, Fair Horsemanship said, they are smart animals capable of both operant and classical learning, which are types of learning processes, which dogs and humans have too and therefore they should be offered choices and an enriched life where they win kept in captivity. P.S. Bored may not be the word, but understimulated or stressed may be more appropriate. So yeah, I just went with bored. It's just the most like understandable. So I'll just keep saying bored in this video till it doesn't sound like a word anymore. But obviously just that right there tells you how much variation there is when trying to answer this question. But the question that comes from this question <laughs> is, what is intelligence? Like, what does intelligence mean? Is it the amount of memory an animal has or the number of commands it can learn and respond to or the size of its brain? Lots of people mention that. And I don't really know. <laughs> intelligence, noun. The ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. So because intelligence is a bit complicated to understand overall, what actually causes boredom? Well, basically it's the lack of dopamine, which you've probably heard the word do dopamine thrown around a lot because like people talk about it a lot, like every time you get a notification, you get a little burst of dopamine chemicals in your brain and it makes it feel good and everyone's addicted to technology, which not that it's not true, but I don't think it's a bad thing. Regardless, that's not related. But uh, dopamine is basically that feel good chemical that naturally occurs. It's not something you like take. Can you take it? But do snakes actually have dopamine? Well, although I can't really find exactly how much they have or exactly what it applies to, they do in fact have dopamine according to a few studies that I found, which means that they can probably experience what we consider boredom. Based on that, I'm just going to assume that they can be bored, but that they're not necessarily always bored for the rest of this video. Now, when would dopamine actually apply to a snake? Chances are, I would guess that it's things like when they go out and grab a meal, they'll get a burst of dopamine. Their body's happy that it's being fed because the food keeps them alive. Therefore, the brain sends some chemicals of dopamine through their wherever it goes, and they essentially reward themselves for getting that food. So it'll encourage them to find more food in the future. Uh, there's probably a chance that they also get dopamine when they say find a safe place to hide and stay away from predators. That content feeling might not be as strong as the excitement of getting food, but you can assume that that's also a bit of dopamine. This is just based on my research and what I'm trying to understand. So I don't know if this is all scientifically correct, but hopefully I'm somewhat close. You can correct me if not. But the next question is, where's the standard for that happiness versus that boredom? Uh, it's going to vary between animal species, between snake species, and even in between individual people. Like some people can just sit there and do nothing all day and they'll be perfectly content, while others kind of have to always be doing something in order to not be bored. So it's basically the same between species and between snake species or whatever else. An example of this is ball pythons. They don't do very much. They got their name because they kind of just sit in the ball. Uh, while meanwhile, look at something like sand boas, like somebody mentioned in one of the comments, sand boas are moving a lot more often. They burrow around and explore while the ball python just sits there. So you can assume that they're both pretty content while doing different things. So like if a sand boa was sitting there static, like a ball python, then it might be getting bored a little bit because it's not getting that standard that that species needs. Does that make any sense? Another comparison you can think about is Vsauce did a video on YouTube Red where he was locked in a white room with just like 
a soylent and a toilet for two days and he essentially slowly went insane. Uh, I made a joke about this on Twitter also that this is what reptile tubs look like when they don't have anything in them. So a human in this condition, uh, according to the studies, cannot go more than two days without being driven insane. Meanwhile, people keep snakes in these tubs forever and they seem to do fine. Or do they? Well, that's a quite controversial debate that you got there, but I'll probably give my opinion on that in just a little bit. But the final thing before we can try and figure this out a little more is how do you gauge the boredom? How do you know if the animal is bored or not? Uh, movement. Is a snake moving around a lot, content and enjoying itself, or is that just more stressed, maybe even worse than boredom? For example, you'll when you get a new snake or any new reptile, chances are they will be basically moving around their enclosure a ton for the first couple days and not really resting because they're learning the area, it's a new place, they've never been here, and they're trying to find the most comfortable places. Some people say that they're exploring and enjoy doing this. Others are saying that they're stressed and just trying to find a safe place to go. It's, I'm losing my snake here, but that's also a gauge that people use to see if some part of husbandry is incorrect. For example, if your ball python is moving around 24 seven, day after day after day, there's a chance that it's trying to find a nice area to rest, because it's maybe too hot in the enclosure or too cold or too damp or too dry. And it's a way to gauge if something is wrong in the husbandry. However, at the same time, there's tons of ball pythons that love to move around and all of the husbandry is perfect. So maybe they're doing it voluntarily just for fun or maybe they're doing it because something is wrong and they can't find a nice place to go. So whether you can use movement to gauge how bored an animal is or how stressed an animal is, is also very differing depending on the individual animal and the circumstances, so it's not an exact answer I can give you either. You're probably starting to get annoyed at how few exact answers I'm actually giving you in this video. I'm getting annoyed at least because this is so unclear. <laughs> oh god, my shoulder fell asleep. Now, something people like to do, especially with lizards, not so much with snakes, or at least I do it with my lizards, is change up the enclosure a lot. Uh, this, when you do this, they're going to end up exploring around a lot more. The question is, are they exploring, again, because they are stressed and can't find a place to go since it's uh, a place that they don't recognize, or is it because they're exploring it and enjoying themselves? Either way, this is stimulation for them, and I don't think that they're stressed most of the time while doing this. It might be a bit different for a snake, but when it comes to lizards, uh, any stimulation that you can get them that's like not harmful is probably good because they are working their brain, they're thinking, they're moving, they're getting exercise, and all sorts of different things. So they're probably not going to be bored in these circumstances. But snakes just have a different standard than lizards, so it's so much harder to say when they are satisfied and when they are bored. Okay, Alex, that's enough dodging the question. What's your actual opinion on whether snakes can be bored or not? Can snakes be bored? Kind of. <laughs> that's, I know that's not, that's not an actual answer, but let me explain. My, my thinking through this. So when I'm personally bored, what do I do when I'm bored? I think about all the non-boring stuff that I could be doing instead of being bored. <laughs> uh, humans are really bad at living in the moment. We always think about the past and the future to the point that it emotionally kills us. Snakes don't do that. I believe that they live in the present. They live in the moment very nicely and I envy that. Because they do that, I don't think they think about what they could be doing that's more interesting than what they're currently doing. When they're sitting in that little dark white tub, they're not thinking about how they could be exploring Go Herping's house. <laughs> they're not thinking about how they could be out exploring the wild and they're stuck in this little tub with nothing to do. I think they just deal with it and they just sit there. The difference is once you take them out of that area and put them in something larger and more fun with more stuff to do, they don't think back to that tub that they were in. Instead, all of a sudden they are happier but again, they're still living in the moment, so they just deal with what they got. If you compare those two moments, yes, it's going to be happier outside of that tub than it is inside the tub, but because it doesn't think about either of those while doing one or the other, does it really matter? Many people are gonna say no because they keep them in the tubs, but I think that it does matter because you can increase the quality of their life by giving them the extra space. Even if they don't beg for that place or if they don't miss that open space when you take it away from them, knowing that you can give them that and knowing that we've seen snakes that do so much better and seem to be so much happier, even healthier, whether it's because they get more exercise or because they get more mental stimulation, 
I see that as a positive. So the word that everyone threw around the most was being content. And I think that's a great way to put it, instead of being bored. They can be content and uncontent. When uh, non-content, uncontent. When, they're un when they aren't content, they're stressed, they're scared, they might be hissy or angry, and they'll be trying to become content. Whether that's finding a place to go, finding a place to explore, trying to escape their enclosure if that's what they're into, whatever it is. Hopefully you're not left underwhelmed because I didn't really answer this, but this is another one of my conversation style videos, Philip DeFranco style, where I wanna hear your opinion on this. I, I might do more of these. I did one on can snakes love their owners. Um, you can watch that here if you want. Spoiler, I don't really give an exact answer again. I kind of do the same thing here and break it down and analyze it and give my opinion. But that's my thoughts on whether snakes can get bored or not. Franklin Pin is here waiting to end up in your mailbox. So again, free international shipping. If you go to gopherpain.com slash shop, uh, it's available until I run out of them. So who knows how soon that'll be. Uh, make sure you grab one or two or five. The more you buy, the more money you save. And posters are also back on the site so you can grab those for pre-order. They'll be shipping out in about a week or so. So uh, that's exciting. That's, yeah. Uh, go give your hopefully not bored snakes a hug and bye. <laughs>